Welcome back to JNS Daily Drives, everyone. My name is Jacob, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new Kia Stinger GT Limited. In today's video, we're gonna go over the exterior as well as the interior, go over some of the engine specifications, and find out what this thing's like to drive. Now let's start with the front end of the Stinger, where as you notice, it is much more aggressive than other Kias in the range. We have these nice vents down here to help with aerodynamics and cooling, along with the giant vent below there. We have the nice radar assisted cruise control cover there. Also, if you notice here, there's an E-badge instead of a Kia badge, and what that means is engineered by excellence. That's how the Kia Stingers in Korea wear them, and that's how they wear them here. Now we move on to the side of the Kia Stinger, where we're greeted by the beautiful 19-inch wheels, along with a very sleek body design. It's got a nice sloping roof line, which adds to the overall coupe-like design. If you come to the side here, we have the nice vents down here that allow back pressure from inside the wheel well to release, creating less turbulent air within the wheels. Also, we have nice body lines following suit. An interesting feature about the side here is the mirrors. They're actually painted in this black chrome, which looks very interesting uh, juxtaposed against the rest of the, the body color. It's very shiny and I think it looks very good. Now we move to the back of the Kia Sting where we're greeted by, in my opinion, one of the best looking rear ends on the market today. We have the nice quad tip exhausts, which are actually functional, they're not just fake tips. Another cool design of the rear of the Stinger is the light bar that stretches across the entire rear of the bumper. Funny enough, the middle part of the light doesn't actually light up. Now at the rear of the Stinger too, we have a unique hatch design, which increases cargo volume. I think it also makes it look better. Adds to this more coupe-like design. If you come take a look here, it's all powered. Quite a large cargo space back there. If you haven't seen my video on the GT line, I actually get in the trunk, see if I fit. Now let's talk about a unique design feature of the Kia Stinger. Now in the Kia Stinger GT line, you have the regular brakes, but in the Kia Stinger GT and GT Limited, you have the beautiful red Brembo brake calipers. They have incredible stopping power. Also, I think the red juxtaposed against the blue, it looks very good. Now let's take a look at the interior of the rear as well as the front to get a sense of what it looks like. We'll go over that in a little bit more detail a little bit later on. So if you come over here, you can see that it is quite spacious back there. Obviously we have the 60-40 split allowing you to pass through objects from the trunk, increasing cargo volume. Now in the front here, we have these beautifully bolstered seats, which actually have air adjustability in the sides as well as in the leg supports. Leather everywhere, it looks very good. Like I said, we'll go into a little bit more detail what it's like after this. Now that we've kind of gone over the exterior a little bit, let's go ahead and talk about the power plant of the Kia Stinger GT. Now that is a 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 producing 365 horsepower and 379 pound-feet of torque. Let's take a look at that engine. Now here it is, the mighty twin turbo V6. I can tell you from experience that this car is very powerful, and I'll show you what that's like in a second. But I think now we should hear how it sounds. Now that we've heard how the engine sounds, let's go to the back and get a good exhaust clip. Now that we've gone over the exterior, as well as gone over the engine, heard what it sounds and gotten an exhaust clip, there's nothing left to do but find out what this thing's got. Let's go for a drive. Or not, actually. So, unfortunately, we ran into a lot of corrupt files, poor audio footage, and unfortunately, I don't think that that represents the car 
I don't think that re represents my relationship with North Lane Kia. So what I'm hoping to do is hopefully sometime soon uh, film the review again, get you guys that out as soon as possible because I don't like to keep you guys waiting. Obviously, it's been a little while since my GT line review, but I want you guys to know that obviously I did not mean for this to happen. It's kind of just one of those things. It happens to everybody and unfortunately this time it happened to me. But once again, I'd like to reiterate the fact that Northland Kia is fantastic. Obviously, they're letting me take their cars out and it's awesome, you know, filming videos with him, Darren especially, he's an awesome guy to be around. Make sure you guys go check him out. Link below in the description is the link to their website as well as the link to the exact car which is for sale right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the walk around video on this Kia Stinger GT. As I said, obviously this isn't gonna be the final product. Hopefully we can get that out to you as soon as possible. But if you did enjoy what you saw, make sure to leave a like down below. Also, if you have any questions or comments, Put it in the comment section down below as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're up to date to our newest videos. We'll see you next time. I